Nigel Farage has bashed Tony Blair's latest call for more young people to go to university. When he was PM, Mr. Blair set a 50% target for young people in higher education, a goal he has now set even higher at 70% by 2040. A report by the Tony Blair Institute published this week suggests that reaching this number would significantly raise the rate of productivity growth. The analysis found that hitting the 70% target would boost the economy by almost 5% over the next generation, compared with allowing educational attainment to stagnate or even decline. The current figure is 53% for school leaves going on to higher education. A report by the Learning and Work Institute in 2019 found that the UK skills shortage will cost the country £120 billion by 2030. They also found that there will be a shortfall of 2.5 million highly skilled workers and an oversupply of 8.1 million people with traditionally intermediate or low skills. This was confirmed more recently by the Institute for Employment Studies, which estimated there are 600,000 fewer people in work than before the pandemic, but Mr. Farage has slammed the suggestion, tweeting, what is Blair on about? We have a skills shortage, not a lack of social science graduates. While his argument appears to oversimplify the issue, the former UKIP leader has his point backed up by industry experts. Key figures in education have claimed that it would be more beneficial to increase the quality of university courses, rather than the quantity, and instead fund genuine alternatives such as apprenticeships to improve social mobility. Will Tanner, director of centre-right think tank Onward, told The Times. It is extraordinary that Tony Blair has examined the last two decades of university policy and concluded that his original 50% pledge did not go far enough. We need to boost the quality of degrees and fund meaningful alternatives like 16 to 18 apprenticeships, not focus on arbitrary targets that, however well-intentioned, ultimately undermine social mobility in the long run. The issue also appears to lie in the type of courses people are taking in university. As Mr Farage rather bluntly puts it, the issue facing Britain's job economy is not a lack of social science graduates.